gradient maps. So we want a gradient map. We're going to have to go to our material editor. So I'm going to come over here to my material editor, pick a sample slot. I'm going to come down to my diffuse uh, color and pick on the button to the right of the color swash for mapping. I click on that button and I want to go with gradient. So I pick on gradient and say OK. Now, when I get in the gradient, I come down here to my gradient parameters. And I have three different colors that I can choose to um, have in my gradient. So I'm going to click on color number one, and I'm going to go with a, a blue color. I'm going to go with a color number two, and I'll go with a, uh, oh, how about I'll go with a red color here. All right. And, and we'll go with uh, three. We'll go with, uh, what are we going to go with? We're going to go with like a, maybe a, just a slight gray. All right. And uh, so in here I can decide on my gradient type, whether it's linear or radial. And so maybe I want to change my sample box. You can see how the gradient is applying linearly here, right? And so down here I have the amounts and, and sizes of things. Uh, for my gradient parameters. So now let's give it a test run here. I'm going to come over here and pick a box and let go, put it up, and I'll select the box and I'm going to have this slot, sample slot selected. I'll say assign it, assign material to selection, and notice how it assigned it to it, but I don't see it. So I have to come over and say show shaded material in viewport. And bang, now I get that particular assignment. And so um, in here then, I can come in here and I can play with my parameters of my gradient at this point. So I can change things like my tiling and my angles, how much blurring it has, etc. I can even apply a map to it. So I can come over here and click on here and I can put like a bitmap in there if I wanted to um, and things like that. Uh, so uh, I can make it even more uh, definable as uh, a particular type of map. But with the basics here, uh, I can adjust these colors to anywhere I like with my angles, etc. Uh, I can switch this thing to a radial and you can see on my radial then I get my radial gradients uh, showing up. So there are different ways in which we can uh, use this uh, and but basically it is a gradient is three different colors uh, that we apply to the image or apply to the object rather and we blend from each of the three colors.